Gugi Wationgos A Meeting in the Dark. The short story takes place in Makeno Village, one of the new little mushroom towns in Kenya during the 1960s. The main protagonist of the story is John. He is the only son of Stanley who is very strict and dominant Calvinist preacher. John's mother is Susanna. She does not buy entirely into the parenting style or, or religious fanaticism that Stanley forces on their family. However, she is also a passive character who frequently defers to her husband. John has achieved what is referred to as a white man's education, since he has achieved every level of education available. As a result, John is respected and looked up to by those in his community. John has a positive outlook in his future because of his education. He also plans to move abroad to further study. However, his beloved Bamuhu stands in his way as he has impregnated her just before he departs the country. This has caused John great distress because he believes that he cannot leave the country once he becomes a father. Moreover, he is certain that Wamuhu's pregnancy will force him to wed her and consequently abandon his aspirations for his future and career. He is also anxious over his father's reaction once the latter finds out that he has impregnated a woman who is circumcised and a daughter of an atheist. John ultimately decides that the best way to deal with his issues is to keep Wamuhu's pregnancy a secret at least until he has left the country. Thereafter, John begins experiencing nightmares where he has been initiated into his tribe through his circumcision before being led by a mysterious figure into a strange land and eventually pulled by many ghosts. Consequently, John visits Wamuhu's home. Although his lover was not there, he was greeted by her parents with the friendliness he expects from neighbors when he arrives at her place. Afterwards, John catches up to Wamuhu as the former leaves the latter's home. John then takes Wamuhu with him so they can have a private conversation. John makes every effort to persuade her not to notify her parents that she is pregnant, even offering her 20,000 shillings, but she consistently rejects him. John then tries to get her to admit that it is another man's child because she won't keep quiet about it. Once more, she rejects, offended by the thought. As the situation spirals farther out of his control, Jan begins to feel hopeless. Due to Amu's pregnancy, all of his ambitions for his future and studies are disintegrating. Jan then loses control and grabs Wamuhu by the neck, intending to embrace her. But he ended up strangling her as he squeezes her neck as tight as he can. Only after Wamuhu has collapsed dead does Jan comes to his senses and realizes that he has murdered her and their unborn child.